Did they get married? Did they get married? Engaged. Oh, engaged. just engaged. Yeah. Well, maybe that wasn't the invitation I got in the mail. <laughs> Countdown to the Winter Olympics. Here it is. We are. Eight days away from opening ceremonies. One athlete days, wow. who will be there indeed is our own Nick Cunningham. Third Olympic appearance for the senior pilot of uh, one of the bobsled teams. He didn't start out as a senior pilot way back when, but now he's, yeah, he sure he's is. an amazing career. Cunningham is also a sergeant in the New York Army National Guard. Action News reporter Megan Coleman with more on how he's getting ready for the Winter Games. Racing down the track, clocking in at 80 to 90 miles per hour. What sounds like a freight train zooming through is 32-year-old Nick Cunningham. There's five Gs of force. You're going 80 plus miles an hour, sometimes into the 90s. You're the vibrations. This five foot 11 inch California native has his sights set on the Olympics. He's a sergeant in the New York National Guard, a former football and track and field star who always dreamed of being a U.S. Olympian. Bobsled was never part of his plan until one day he took a drive down a mountain out west. My mom said the road looked like a bobsled track, and then I was fast and should try out. And my dad's like, yeah, you should totally try out. Nick says it all started as a family joke. Five years later, he came here to Lake Placid for a tryout. 18 months after that, he went to the 2010 Olympic Games in Vancouver and was Olympic bound yet again in the 2014 Sochi Games. I've always wanted to be a race car driver, so this is kind of my way to do it. And I can kind of put my passion for track and field and racing kind of together. During our recent visit to Lake Placid, Nick was getting ready for the North America's Cup. A lot of dedication, a lot of dedication. Um, you know, it's, it's representing your country is never uh, a sacrifice, but you do have to sacrifice a lot of things to be there. So, um, you know, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. He says this is all a dream come true. Pride you get from from being able to just wear USA on a uniform, and you know there's that that's what it says on my back, and to be able to have that next to my name, something I've wanted since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to represent the USA in in competition, and I was going to find a way to do it. So that's happy awesome. for yeah. him, you so know. Awesome. And we hope he's going to do well. I mean, he has been working every day. I mean, you know, we've seen him for years. You know, it's just keeping up with him and, and seeing how and, far you know, he's come. Three Olympics, that is a long career yeah, it's really for an remarkable. athlete, as he said. A lot of sacrifices along the way. Good stuff. Right.